All right, so now it is time to learn our new method to solve non-homogeneous systems, which is guess what? Variation of parameters, okay? So we are going to learn the analog for variation of parameters in section, uh, in chapter 8 for section 4.6, okay? All right, so before we go there, we have to learn some fundamental facts, okay? So let's say we have a non-homogeneous system, x prime is equal to ax plus f. No matter what method you use to solve this system, first, any way you have to solve the homogeneous version of the same system, right? And then you find your solution for this homogeneous system, okay? What do we call that solution? We give it a special name, complementary function, right? So we find the complementary function and then from there you find the particular solution, right? So you, you, you the way you find or you construct this complementary function or the solution for the homogeneous system is you find the pieces of the solution or which we say mathematically the fundamental set of solution right so let's say you have a, a is a two by two system okay and what you do is you have two eigenvalues either it's repeated complex or distinct you have two eigenvalues um let's pick up two random eigenvalues, negative 1 and 2. And we know we have eigenvectors associated with them. Okay, let's say these two. So what do we do is when you when you found these eigenvalues and eigenvectors, you write x sub 1, which is eigenvector 1, 1 times e to the negative t. x2 is 0, 1 e to the 2t, right, you find this fundamental set of sol fundamental solutions and x1 and x2 together, it's a set. Now you take the linear combination of these two and you write the complementary function as c1 x1 plus c2 x2, okay? So that is what we do. Now to move on from here, we have to define a concept, we have to learn a concept called fundamental matrix. Now the name gives away what happens. Fundamental matrix is a matrix that contains fundamental solutions for the homogeneous system of the differential equation. What do I mean? So look at this complementary solution in this example, okay? I can write this right hand side C1 times X1 plus C2 times X2 as a product of matrix and a vector. Now see, now see what I do, okay? So this X1 is a vector, X2 is a vector. Right, do you agree? Okay, so I can write this right hand side c1 x1 plus c2 x2 as we put x1 and x2 in two columns, okay, in each column, okay, because you have two, so you two have columns, and c1 c2 is in a one column, so this is a column uh, vector, but this is a matrix. If you multiply these two out, see, check, check by yourself, what you get is the c1 x1 plus c2 x2 okay if you multiply these out so we can really write any complementary solution for a system as a matrix times a vector now this vector is created out of this arbitrary constant c1 c2 up to up to cn right if it is n by n system but this matrix is con is made up of fundamental solutions so we call this matrix we call it phi okay give it a name we call it the fundamental matrix okay so it is same thing without the arbitrary constants c1 c2s of the solution okay so you pick up these pieces and you put them in the respective columns now we want we want to learn certain properties of this fundamental matrix but before we go there let's look at some examples and quickly understand it it's very easy concept okay all right so given Mm, okay, so given here, we have the eigenvalues, the eigenvectors are given, so we have written the complementary solution. So what is phi? So phi is, now here if you look at, if you look at the complementary solution, look at the first part. You don't, you forget about arbitrary constants, okay? So you look at this part. So that is capital X1, right? So negative 4 times e to the 3t, negative 4 e to the 3t and 1 times e to the 3t, e to the 3t. So that is the first vector x1, do you agree? Right, okay. So this look like x1, but it is 4. Okay. And then the second part is 1, one, one times e to the negative 2t, which is e to the negative 2t, 
e to the negative 20. So I put that in the second column. So this is the fundamental matrix phi. Okay. So you drop those C1 and C2, you put the rest of the terms in separate columns. Okay. So let's see another example. So here the eigenvalues and eigenvectors are given. So here we have the um, complementary solution. Now phi for this complementary solution is you pick up the first uh, vector, uh, first part x1 is actually negative 1, 2, e to the negative 2t. So when you multiply, it's negative e to the negative 2t, 2 e to the negative 2t, right? So that is the first column. The second column is coming from here, negative e to the negative t, 1 times e to the negative t, e to the negative t. Okay, so this is the now fundamental matrix. You can see two solutions without C1 and C2s. They are in the separate columns. Don't write this as, okay, so don't write this as like um, negative 1, 2, e to the negative 2t and negative 1, 1, e to the negative t. Don't write it like that. Multiply these two out with this outside exponential and then write it as a one vector just like I have written here. This is wrong, okay. All right, don't write it like that. Now let's do a one more example and learn a property. So here, here we have three, three parts to the, because it's a three by three system. So you have capital X1, capital X2, capital X3. So the fundamental matrix is, so if you look at the first part, if you drop the C1, it's just a vector and it does not have an exponential part. Well, it had, it was e to the 0 t, that's what we can guess, right? Y again, one eigen value should be 0. So that is why you don't have anything exponential here because e to the 0 t is 1. So it's just we only have the vector part, so we can put 1, 1, negative 2. Now you go to the second part, if you drop C2, this is what you have. So when you multiply out it with e to the 2t, here e to the 2t, negative 1 times e to the 2t, negative e to the 2t, and 0 times e to the 2t is 0. And from here, the third column is 1 times 1, 1, 1 times e to the 3t, so it's everything is e to the 3t. So this is the fundamental matrix. So this is how you construct a fundamental matrix phi. Okay, it's a very easy concept, right? Okay, now let's go back and learn one key important property that we will be using when we are uh, using the uh, when we are using the variation of parameters method. Now, fundamental matrix again by by its name, it's a matrix, but it contains fundamental uh, solutions from the fundamental set of solutions, right? It, x1, x2 and so and so. So this matrix, now listen to this fact clearly, this matrix is itself a solution to the differential equation, okay? That means to the system of differential equation to the homogeneous one, okay? So I have to readjust my fact. Okay, so let's, let's, say, let, let's see what I mean. So we have the system x prime is equal to ax plus f, but we forget this for a moment. We work with x prime is equal to ax. Now using this, we get the complementary solution. And this fundamental matrix is created by the complementary solution, right? So let's say we have a fundamental matrix psi, a phi, not psi, phi, created by this homogeneous system. Now, phi again contains the solutions, right? Each column has solutions for the homogeneous system, x1, x2, and so on. So what happens instead of for x, if I substitute phi for this system, homogeneous system, that means let, let's take phi prime, let's differentiate phi with respect to t and we get phi prime. Let's multiply a times phi. What do you think will happen? Will the left hand side will be equal to right hand side? Can we say that these two are equal? When you substitute phi for x, what do you think? Yes, it is, right? Left hand side is equal to right hand side in this system when you substitute phi for x. Why? What is the reason? Because I said the, re I said the answer before, because phi contains the solutions for the for this system, right? So it should satisfy this system, right? It, phi contains the solutions for the homogeneous system, okay? All right? So that is the, that is the main property. Phi, the fundamental matrix itself, 
a solution contain solutions to the homogeneous system of the differential equation and when you substitute phi for this system it satisfies the system so we can write phi prime is equal to a phi that's a very important fact okay x prime is equal to a x then phi prime is equal to a phi okay all right then yeah that is the discussion of the fundamental matrix so we laid out the foundation to learn uh, variation of parameters let's learn it in the next video so thank you